The second stage is forgiveness. Um, and that's really important uh, because that requires you to let go of your personal issues and your grievances with this person. Um, in many divorce situations, a lot of this has to do with being lied to, being disrespected, being cheated on. Uh, you have to forgive the other person for doing whatever it is you perceive them to have done to you. And it doesn't really matter if they really did what you think they did or you just think and feel that they did. Because as long as you are convinced that they have done you wrong and you continue to hold on to that wrong and hold on to that grudge, you can't move forward and let go and look at things objectively. You're looking at things only subjectively and you're now looking at this person as an enemy versus someone who will be there with you after the divorce is over to raise your kids with you and help you along the way. In order to do that, you have to let go of this anger. You know, this, and then this, the anger is what got you here to my office. You're angry, you're, you've been betrayed, you've been lied to, or, you know, a lot of times, again, you may be angry at life. You may be blaming other people. Maybe other people got involved. Maybe your family drove you apart, or your friends, or something else. But that anger that you're holding on to towards this other person or towards the circumstances that you're in, that needs to go. And forgiving that person or forgiving life or forgiving the situation and saying, that's okay, you know, I'm gonna let go of all this pent up anger and move forward is critical. Because once you let go of that, you're truly free to think of your situation, what to do next, objectively. You can really, you gain your logic and your common sense back, you know? And that's the problem with most divorce clients that I see. When they come to my office, it's almost like there's a sign that hangs on my door that says, when you enter here, abandon logic, abandon first grade math, abandon how you feel, and from this point forward, just try to fight and destroy the other side and be the one that wins. But there is no such sign, you know, and they see that sign and until they can get past all this, until they forgive the person or the situation or the circumstances, that's when all those things come back. You gain your logic back and you start thinking, is this really best for me? You know, is this best for my children? You know, do I really want to go down this road? You start gaining math skills back and you're adding two plus two and it equals four. You're looking at your legal bill and the money you're spending on attorneys, on the legal system, on attorneys for the children, forensic accountants, psychiatrists, be that as it may. There, there are so many different, um, there are so many different people that you're spending your money on and you abandon simple math where you no longer are counting you're just channeling that anger and you're gonna pay any price. You know, a lot of people, when they come to my office, they let this go so far, abandoning their basic math skills, that they drive themselves into debt. They come in and they have assets, they have a pension, they have houses, they have money in the bank, and they forget about all this and they allow this anger and this aggression to take the steering wheel. And as long as anger and aggression is behind that steering wheel, on that road, money is just falling out of that car left and right. And it's going to the lawyers, it's going to the legal system, it's going to everyone other than you and your children where it should be. And I don't have a problem telling clients, listen, what you're spending on this case is above and beyond what you can afford, but more importantly, you're taking your own money. And at the end of this process, you're not investing it, you are wasting it. You're not gonna have anything to show for it. You didn't acquire anything with this money. You know, you're paying for my kid's college education and you're paying for the forensic accountant's vacation to Europe. And that money that you to, took you so long to gather and earn is just wasted because that's the way it is if you allow this process and this system and your anger take over the steering wheel of your divorce. So forgiveness, letting go of that is gonna return logic and math
back into the equation. And once that's back, you're going to be better equipped to go through the rest of this process.